Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, um, I'm doing my project pen finale. I know I only did an intro and one update announced the finale, but I just didn't have time or... Yeah, I've been busy with other things. So, yeah, I wanted to wrap this up though. I didn't want to leave it um, unfinished because I will be starting a new project pan kind of project. Um, it's the deck of panning project pan. So I will talk more about that at the end of this video, but yeah, for now I'll just give you some updates and we can look at my empties. Um, well, my empties that are part of this project, but you may have seen those already in my empties video, but just to recap. So let's start. So I think as my usual project pan videos go, I'm just gonna be looking at my uh, Excel sheet where I keep all of my statistics. Um, yeah, and I'll just go through those. So if you're wondering why I keep looking over here, that's why. So first um, category is primer. And I did finish my First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. This seemed like it lasted forever, um, even though I used it a ton. And this is one of my favorite primers, if you haven't seen my other videos. So I would repurchase this, but I'm obviously trying to get through these 70 million <laughs> other primers that I have. But yeah, this is a really good one, and that is empty. Um, and then my other primer, because usually I try to have two products per category. The other one is the Bobbi Brown Face Base, and that is just a like deluxe size sample. But this is how it's looking. So I think in my last video, I either didn't use this at all, or maybe used it like once. So um, I have since used it six times which is pretty good. Um, but I think I'm just gonna use this up, even though I do have another primer in my Shot My Stash right now. But I just kinda wanna get this out of my collection because it's just a small size and it's already getting old. I do really like this primer, especially for my dry skin. And it has like a nice like citrusy smell, which I feel like no one ever talks about, but it's actually really nice and like refreshing. Like it's a fun product to use, like if you put your makeup on in the morning, it's like a nice refreshing product. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't filmed in forever. So I feel like I'm very rusty. I don't know. Next category is foundation. I did not do well in this category. So the first product is my Physician's Formula BB Cream and this is what it looks like. So it's almost done but it's looked like this since like October of last year. I kind of forgot about this to be honest so I just need to use this up. But that being said there is a lot of product in this like end here. I don't really know how much, how many more uses I would have with this, but probably more than like two or three. So I didn't finish this, even though I thought I would. Anyway, this product is discontinued. Um, this was the Organic Wear BB Cream, and I still can't figure out if they just repackaged it because I know they always had two kinds. They had this one and like the one that's all, ow. <laughs> and the one that's all like silvery and shiny. I don't know if there's a difference, but yeah, either way, really not good shade range <laughs> on this. And yeah, it's it doesn't exist anymore. The other product in my foundation category, which I did not do well on, is my Tarte um, 
Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. This one comes in a jar, also discontinued. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't think there'll be... I don't think there'll be much difference from the last time you saw it, but I mean, I did use quite a bit, I feel. I just don't really wear foundation. I did use it today and I just feel like my skin is too dry in the winter to wear foundation that isn't like super serum-y or glowy. So yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> oh, but I did, um, I forgot to mention, I did make some updates to this project like as I went because I realized like, for instance, this, I'm never gonna finish this in like a project amount of time, if you know what I mean. So I did change some products to use goals. So I think they're all, yeah, I, I said I was gonna use the products 10 times. I'll tell you which ones they are. But this one is one of them and I've only used it for <laughs> four of the ten times. Well, since I started tracking it that way, so I did use it a bit more than that, but, and obviously more outside of this project, but since I started tracking it in that way, I only used it four out of ten times, so I didn't meet my goal on this one. Um, my next category is powder. No, no, no. It's concealer. <laughs> and that is my Tarte Aqua Sealer. I feel like I had two products in this category and now I only have one. I don't remember if I updated that or not. But this is my Tarte, Tarte Aqua Sealer and actually it's a bit lower than this line. That's just like where it dried up on the sides. But I'm still using this. I didn't put a use goal on this one because I just want to finish it and I feel like I could. Um, yeah. It's, there's really not a lot left in there. So, and I actually like this concealer when I feel like wearing concealer. I like to use this one because it's like a really lightweight, serum -y texture. I also have a product in the powder category and I don't know what I thought I was going to do with this. <laughs> this is my huge... Aveda Mineral Loose Powder. I mean, it kind of looks like I did get... No, I guess it just always looked like that. It's like less than half full, but it's really old. And I did make this a use goal product, so I used this 4 out of 10 times. Not good. I use it today because I've been like kind of experimenting with um, actually setting my makeup and I never did that before because my skin is so dry um, but I just wanted to try it today and I'm not sure I love how it looks I feel like well on camera I mean the lighting look, makes everything look better and you can't see like all my dry skin <laughs> but I feel like it did kind of take the moisture out of my under eye. I don't know though. I feel like this isn't a bad powder if you have dry skin because um, it's just really lightweight. So I don't know what I'll do with this. Um, but yeah, I didn't meet my goal on that because most of the time I don't want to put powder on my face. My setting spray I did pretty good with. So if you can see that, it's down to here. Um, this was already kind of like at this point when I started this project, but I have been using this quite a bit. I use it to set my makeup. It's extremely wet. Like it'll douse your whole face, so you have to hold it very far away. Um, but I have been using it and I did appreciate the wetness of it today because like I said, when I put that foundation on, it just like accentuated all my dry skin so I did like it for that and I also use it like if I have a brow product 
that needs like a water activation, I would use this or a, an eyeshadow, you know, to make it more metallic, I would use this also. So if I wore makeup more, this would have been done, but yeah, just almost finished. Uh, for bronzer and contour, I met both my goals. I did change these to use goal products because realistically, I knew I, I'm never gonna pan these. Like, I would have to wear makeup every day for many months to pan <laughs> either of these. So the first one was my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It's still, I feel like, it always looks the same, but I did use this. I met my goal, which was 10 times, but I definitely used it more like 16, 17 times. But I kind of like kept counting because I was gonna make this video last year. <laughs> so I kind of kept counting, but I still kept using it. So yeah, but I just feel like it's still, <laughs> like you can still see the pattern that you see when you first buy it. So it's very hard pressed, I feel, and you don't pick up a lot of it on your brush. So yeah, this one is not that easy to pan, but it is the oldest bronzer in my collection. And then I also put in a cream bronzer because I also had a goal to have a powder and a cream in the categories where it applies because cream products supposedly, you know, go bad quicker. So I put my Fenty Beauty Butter Biscuit Cream Bronzer. I love this product. This one, I feel like you actually can see a dip. Um, yeah, but no pen, of course. But I have used this over 10 times as well. And I also met my goal on both my blushes, so my powder blush and my cream blush. My powder blush was the Hourglass Mood Exposure. This is just a mini size, but there's tons of product in here because it's a domed product. And actually, now that I look at it, I kind of see that I did decrease the dominess. Uh, I have used this a lot also because it's just like a nice neutral blush. Like I wore it today, for example, because I knew I wanted to wear a red lip and I didn't want something to clash with it. So yeah, I really like this one. I don't think I would buy it in the full size because hourglass, you know, <laughs> it's very expensive. And, but I did use this over 10 times and my, the same for my Tower 28 cream blush in Magic Hour. This is another nice neutral one. So I wore this whenever like I wanted to do a full face of cream products or if I just wanted like a quick makeup look. Sometimes I just wore this with like mascara. Um, I don't, I mean, you can't really see a dip, but I can see that I used it a lot and I know that I did so yeah but there's still like you know a good amount of product left in there for highlighter I did not do well in this category so I had my Becca Opal and I'll show you what happened <laughs> I think I've showed this before but this is what it looks like. So technically there there is a pen in there because it broke and I lost a few chunks and now I've just been using it like this. So every time I open it, it's like I have to be very careful. I did use it today. I do love this product. But as you might know, Becca doesn't exist anymore. And I don't know what to do with this. I don't think I want to try and repress it. I just feel like it's so soft and crumbly that it probably wouldn't work out. But, and I was one use away from my goal. I use this nine out of 10 times since I started tracking. So 
yeah there's that and then my Marc Jacobs do you this one I didn't put a U skull on it because it's a mini and I just want to use it up because it's a cream product so um, I think I did make some good progress on this I feel like it was more like around here when I started uh, I did use it today I wanted to try to use it in a different way so I actually mixed this with my foundation like I put the foundation on my sponge and then I put this directly on the sponge and just stabbed it and I feel like I don't really know didn't make that much of a difference um, this product really shows up more when you wear it like as a cream highlighter but you have to be careful like with what you're mixing it like what you're putting on what is underneath it and yeah it doesn't always work out so it's another product that I'm like whenever I use it there's like a chance that it's gonna go wrong if you know what I mean so I don't love to use it all the time but I feel like I could just get rid of this I mean I could just use it up and be done with it because I don't hate it either um then I had a category for eye primer slash cream and that was specifically because I wanted to use up um my Tatcha Pearl this guy here so I do use this almost every time I wear makeup even if I'm just gonna wear mascara and like a lip balm I use this because it's actually it's more like a skincare product but I do keep it with my makeup because it's tinted um and you might look at this and if you saw my last video you might be like wow you use a lot of that no <laughs> what happened is that I brought this on a trip with me and it kind of like went upside down in my makeup bag and a lot of it went in the cap so I've been using actually from the cap here and I didn't even touch this since then so this is just gonna last me so long because you don't put a lot of this if you put too much of it it will start to crease and look weird so you really have to make a point to not use a lot and for that reason I don't this is going to take me like another year or more well more yeah more than a year to finish that one which is fine because it's also $60 so it's not something you want to only have for a few months um, and the other product in that category is my primer potion which is the Urban Decay like original primer potion and this I feel I could finish this this year well maybe not <laughs> um it's just that I feel like I've had to start squeezing this tube while I pull out the wand because if I was just pulling out the wand it was really dry so that tells me like I did finish a lot of product on the top here um and it's still working out fine I use it every time I do my makeup so there's that eyeshadow palettes I almost met my goal on both of these I did change it to a use goal because we all know I'm never going to pan an eyeshadow palette um, and I was strategic in choosing the two like oldest palettes in my collection well some of the oldest this is the actual oldest this one kind of almost the next oldest um, but this is the Too Faced chocolate bar I use this since I started tracking you skull, I used it nine, nine out of 10. So I almost met my goal on this. Um, and whenever I do use this, I also try to use the, this shade here, Champagne Truffle as a highlighter. And I really love how it looks. That's probably why I didn't do so well in my highlighter category because I was trying to use these more so I tried to use them for more than just eyeshadow um, so yeah 
That's the story with that one. No pens, obviously, but I did use it nine times since I started tracking it. Yeah, that's just gonna be around a lot longer. I don't feel like the formula has gone bad or anything like that either. So yeah, I'm not concerned about that. And the same for this one. I know a lot of people that bought the Modern Renaissance when it first came out, they're now saying like, oh, it went off and it's dry and dusty. I feel like mine is still going strong. Um, this is what it looks like. So I do use, I think it was the Vimeer shade as a highlighter. Um, but yeah, I mostly use this as actual eyeshadow. And this shade, you can't really see on camera, but it has a huge dip in it. Like, I might actually pan that. If I used this shade to set my eyelid for all my eye looks, that would probably be gone this year. Um, but I did mention in a previous video, I was trying to use these shades here more because I feel like whenever I reach for this palette, I only, I stick to this. And it's like, I can get these shades in every other palette I own. So I might as well use this for like, you know, the modern renaissance vibe, which is like the reds and the pinks. But I don't really like these shades. Like, um, on their own, if you know what I mean. Like if I just stick to this, these shades for a look, I had never really liked how it came out, so... I don't really reach for this a lot, but it is a good formula and I don't know. I guess it's like a nostalgic thing also because like Modern Renaissance was so popular back in the day and back when I found out about makeup and YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, but this one I used 8 out of 10 times. Oh, one product I did not meet my goal on or pen but I have to get rid of it. I use it three out of the ten times my benefit RSVP. Um, so it looks like this. There is a really good dip in there but I just have to get rid of it because it's dry as a bone. Like this used to be a product that you could use as an eyeliner like a gel eyeliner um, but that definitely is not working anymore. Like I can show you like, well, my nail doesn't allow me to get in there, but it's just like dust. And it may look good as a swatch, but when you try to blend it out, it's just dusty. So it doesn't even stick to my eye anymore. So I have to throw this away. Um, yeah, but this product, I've had this forever and ever, so it's just time to get rid of it. Um, I feel like I've had that since I worked at Aveda, which was when I was in university, so I can't even calculate how much time that was. It was a long time ago. <laughs> um, for liquid or gel liner, I only had a liquid liner in this category. My VDL Expert Deep Matte. I feel like I was getting pretty good at this, but then I tried to use it today and it was a disaster. It took me like 20 minutes to like try and get this baby, baby wing to look correct because I was just like, Ooh. I, I'm just not good at liner. I have to like practice at it. But um, yeah, this. Do I have a use goal? Yeah, I, I can't remember if it was three or four times because I used it today and I don't remember if I put that in. I think I did. So yeah, three out of 10 times. I just don't use liquid eyeliner enough because I'm always scared I'll just mess it up. And my eye pencil is the Urban Decay Lucky my drawer. This guy, one of the like 24-7 um, glide-on eye pencils. This is like a nice coppery shade, like 
this. Um, I usually use this. I don't have a use goal on this one because I thought I would just try and use it up. I used it six times apparently. Um, it just, it's a really nice shade. Like I like it with my eye color, but it doesn't go with like every look that I do. And especially not when I'm not wearing eyeshadow. It would be weird to just wear this like in my waterline. Cause it, it actually has like a dark base I noticed. So it doesn't like brighten or anything. It's just, yeah. A coppery eyeliner. For mascara, I am actually almost done. Well, I'm not done. I never actually finish. Like, I never pan the mascara. It just gets dry, so I have to throw it away. But I have three products in this category. Um, my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. So this is not actually mascara. It's a primer. Um... I haven't felt the need to use this much since I got rid of my L'Oreal Lash Paradise because these two I bought in a pack, they came together so I was just using them together. But since I put in my Maybelline Sky High, I don't feel like I need this because this is already so lengthening and it can get kind of like a lot if you keep layering it, but I did use both today because this one is very dry now. Well, you can't really see, <laughs> but this, if you guys have tried this before, you know, like it's a pretty wet formula. And now that it's drier, that tells me like it's getting to be close to done. And then my Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I only use this on my lower lash line because the wand is so thin and it's another it's more like a dry formula so it doesn't make a mess but yeah i'm still gonna keep using these because i don't like to open tons of mascara even though i do have my um abh whatever this is called lash brag this like deluxe size i opened in the summer so i have all of these too use up for brows i have three products two of them are almost done but this one i just never use this one i changed to a use goal because i have accumulated quite a few brow products since i started this project and i need to you know rotate because brow products dry up especially like pomades like this but i did use this four out of ten times this is what it looks like. This is the shade three. Yeah, um, I am wearing it today. Yeah, I just feel like it's a bit too warm for my hair color. Although I do like the formula. I never feel like I love how it looks, but I just keep using it anyway because I don't know what else to do with it. I don't think my mom would use a brow pomade. I'll have to ask her. But I did get this from Influencer anyway, so I didn't actually pay for it. Um, but yeah, there's the Benefit Cabrow. And then these two products I've been using forever, I feel. And on days where I don't even wear like a full face of makeup, I sometimes just wear these two products with mascara and lip balm. So this is the Essence Make Me Brow, still hanging on. I feel like I talk about this in every video, but it's still like, there's quite a lot of product in there and it doesn't feel too dry. Um, and then my Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel, I just put that on top, although I don't feel like it does much. It looks like this. Not my favorite brush either, but I feel like there's a lot of product left in here too. So even like, use these all the time they're still going strong for lip liner i had two and i did change these to a use goal as well originally i planned to finish them but as you can see they kind of look the same as they did when i started this project um so i have the aveda tarragona so this more like 
deep red. I'm actually wearing that under my lip product today. And then Foxglove, which is more like a neutral, kind of mauve pink. And this one I use on its own, like as a lipstick. So I do get more use out of this one, but they're both kind of looking the same. So I use the Tarragona three out of 10 times and the Foxglove, I didn't say the shade, the pinkier one is Foxglove. I used this seven out of 10 times. So didn't meet my goal on either of these, but I did use them. For lipstick, I did not good. <laughs> I really didn't do good in this category. I have, um, so this is like my lipstick bullet category. So I have the Aveda Cherry Bud. It is almost done as like a whole, but I only used it one time. I feel like I used it two times though. Pretty sure I used it two times. Um, it's just like, whenever I wear a red, I want it to be more like this kind of red. And this is more like a deeper red. Although I think the last time I used it, I was quite surprised that it was more like a cherry red. But I just don't, I don't know if I'm gonna wear a red lipstick, I usually wear a liquid lipstick. Cause then I feel like it's not gonna go all over my face. So I don't know, yeah, two times. <laughs> and then my Too Faced Sex on the Peach, just a mini guy, I use this two times. I should have really just focused on this cause that's how much product is in here in this entire tube. But I just, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't reach for lipstick much. I, whenever I wear lip products, it's usually a lip balm that I'll show you soon, or a lip gloss or a lip oil. So, and really I haven't been wearing much of that either because we're wearing masks and not leaving our house. <laughs> so for liquid lipstick, today I used my Sephora. Zero 01 for the first time. <laughs> it's what I'm wearing today. I really love this actually. I just there's no reason to wear lip to wear a red lipstick in my life. So yeah, I used that for the first time today, but I really like it. I love the um Sephora cream lip stain. That's what it's called, right? Cream lip stain, yes. Because they don't move but they also don't feel super dry and like make all lines in my lips. So I really like this formula. It's just, yeah, because it was red, I just never really reached for it. And this is obviously just like a mini guy. And the other one was the um, Bite Liquefied Lipstick in the shade Whip. So this is more like a nude shade. Um, I used this two times. <laughs> so yeah, not good on that category either. Lip gloss, I did a bit better. I have a Too Faced Peach Mini. This little guy. This is the shade Pure Peach. So as the name suggests, it is very peachy. Um, still smells good. They actually discontinued these glosses, the peach oil glosses, which is kind of sad because, I don't know, they're just so cute. Look at the little peach guy, if it would ever focus there. But yeah, these don't exist anymore. But I used that four out of ten times. And this little mini Benefit California Kissin, which does not exist anymore. It's um, just a clear gloss, although it looks blue, it is clear. I use this five times. So sometimes I just wear it alone or I put it over a other lip product. It has like a minty scent and it just feels nice. Like it's not sticky or gross or goopy. Yeah. So five times. 
Okay, lip balm. So this is the product that I was talking about before. This is like the lip product I'm always wearing lately. The Tarte Lip Rescue. Quench Lip Rescue. I never remember the name of that. And this is the shade Nude. That is, that, that's the whole product that I have left. It's rolled all the way up. So you can see more on this side because for whatever reason I didn't like wear it down evenly but on this side yeah so that's all I have left this is one of my favorite lip products I do have one or two more of these in different shades so I'm not like sad that I'll use it up I actually want to um, and move on to others but I really like this product this also has like a nice minty feel but not like in a lip plumping sense and yeah, I really like it. And it's not like too wet either. So it doesn't like stick to my mask or anything. It honestly feels like a lip balm, but just a bit more glossy. Uh, and then I had, oh, I did finish this one. I finished my Revlon Kiss lip balm. I even, oh, if you saw my empties, I even dug like, the rest of the product out of here. I really liked this too. This was the coconut, tropical coconut scent and I loved it and it has SPF 20, which I really liked about this too. I do have another one of these in a different shade that I'll get to at some point, but yeah, I finished this one. So I did replace it because this is more of like a lip product I use when I'm out, but when I'm just like at home and I need to put a lip balm on, I needed something to replace that one. So I pulled up this Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm. Um, yeah, I don't think there's SPF in these ones, but it's just a nice like natural lip balm. Although I don't love the smell of honey. Not, not that I don't, it's not like this product that I don't like the smell of. It's like anything that has honey in it, I don't love the smell of it, of honey for some reason. But yeah, I pulled in this one and it was brand new when I pulled it in. But I did finish that much already because in the winter I'm always putting lip balm on. So that will hopefully be done this year. I had a category for nail polish or nail products um, I did not do well at all in there. I didn't even bring them in here to show you because I started getting my nails done again with SNS. So this is like the, the dip powder, so I can't do my nails. I have to actually go there and like have it removed and all that. So every time I go, I just get it redone. <laughs> so I did not touch any nail products, but I did have like a clear like um it was a sally henson diamond shine it's called you could use it like on its own or as a base i used it two times and then uh, for a nail polish i had like a it was kind of like a turquoisey color which was fun in the summer but also when i used the two together there was a weird effect if you can see it in my last video actually where like it made it all bubbly, my last Project Pan video. So I just stopped using those and I probably, like in a future Project Pan, I'm probably not gonna have a nail category because I just get my nails done, like I said. For fragrance, I did finish my little Marc Jacobs, this tiny little guy, Marc Jacobs Daisy. I love this perfume, but I feel like it's very springtime. So yeah, I used it up before the winter so that I could get it out of my collection. I would actually buy this in a full size. I just don't need to because I don't wear fragrance every day. But yeah, I finished that. And then I also had another mini, um, like this kind of sample size of YSL Black Opium. That's not done. 
that's still like in my bedroom so I still have that and that the reason I haven't used as much is because I feel like it's a nighttime fragrance and I don't go anywhere <laughs> so I still have that but something exciting I finally finished my airy what was this called be chill coconut water and hibiscus body mist with aloe i really loved this it just i've had it forever and i like using it i like the spray on it and there is if you can see there is some left but it doesn't spray out anymore because of the way the bottle is i guess i could spray it like i could pour it in another container but whatever I have other things to use um so I did finish this and anyway it is a very like vacation smell coconut water and hibiscus so it's not really like a winter scent but I loved using this and I do love having a body spray in my collection because I feel like it's not even just the scent but they just feel like they make me feel more refreshed like um, after a shower or something when you get dressed and you put a body mist on it's something like refreshing and clean so I really like having a um, body mist or body spray in my collection and I do have a Bath and Body Works one that I'm using now like a more wintry one so that's fun but yeah I'm glad that this is done because it's been hanging around forever yeah that was it for the fragrance category for body product category did not do good either i just am not a body product person um but i have this aveda stress fix this is a body cream with stress relieving aroma um i have used like quite a bit of it i just don't use it regularly and i use this as a foot cream actually because my feet are dry as bone <laughs> and yeah like at night it's a nice like stress relieving ritual because it's lavender if i didn't say that already it's a lavender scent so there's just so much product in here especially if i only use it as a foot cream like i'm not using tons of product so I have this one still hanging around. I used it two times, I've said. I feel like I've used it more than two times though, but definitely not many times. And the same with my Belief Body Bomba. I used this one four times. I was trying to use this in the summer, um, like on my legs after a shower, but I just, I'm not really a body product person, although I really like this product. It's um, like the other one was a cream, so it's heavy, but this is a lotion texture. That's why I was using it in the summer. And it has a ylang ylang scent, which is really like nice and refreshing. So I probably should be using this um, like on my legs still. Just not too good in that category either. So for my skincare category, however, I had one, two, three, four, five, six products and I finished all of them except one, which is like almost done. In like a couple days, it'll be done. So the first one, well, Okay, I cheated a bit. I didn't finish this one, but it expired and it's like, not that it's breaking me out, but it's making me have like those hard white, not even white, like it's just an under the skin bump. So I have to get rid of it. It was the milk um, cooling water. I had mentioned like I was just trying to use it up and to be fair, I think it was already expired when I started using it in this project because if you can see, like, it kind of goes in like this and it's supposed to be the whole width of this container and it's supposed to be, like, really, like, almost serum-y but it's more like a bomb because I think it just, like, dried up. 
But yeah, I noticed that I was using this around my nose because that's where I get super dry. But then I was getting those bumps around there. So it definitely must be this product that is just not doing well with my skin. So I have to throw that one away. My Tarte My Summer Magic, totally empty. I didn't love this. I liked it for my face. Like, sometimes I'm lazy and I just use my cellar water. Not when I'm wearing a full face of makeup, but on a normal day. I will just use my cellar water to, like, refresh my face and not have to, like, exfoliate and wash and all that. So I did like it for that, but I did not find this was a good eye makeup. Eye makeup remover. Um, it just did not work too well for that purpose. But I did finish that up and I also finished my glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist I was using this in the beginning as a setting spray but then I started using it as a skincare like a toner and that's how I finished it up quite quickly because it's a very fine mist I really like this but I have so many other products to get through I also finished this Kodali um, Beauty Elixir. I really liked this product um, as a face mist. I didn't use it as a setting spray because it has like essential oil and right? I don't know if it's essential oil but it's like yeah rosemary leaf oil. It was very herbal is what I'm trying to get at so I did strictly use this as a skincare product and the other product is my belief moisture moisturizing balm the true cream moisturizing balm this is my favorite moisturizer for my dry skin this is my second jar of this and if you can see there's like three more uses and that makes me sad because I honestly feel like there's no other cream that works as well as this for my dry skin. But I have a lot of other things to try. I've been getting a lot of skincare in my boxy charms that I need to get to, so we'll see if I find something that's just as good. But yeah, almost done that, and it does kind of hurt to repurchase because it's. I think it's over $50 in Canada for this size and I use it a lot but yeah I just love it and then I finished my I think I showed you that in my last video the Sephora yeah I already mentioned that one the Sephora coconut water so yeah finished almost all of my skincare goals and the last category this has been a long video the last category was hair products and I did finish my Aveda shampoo dry shampoo so this is not like a aerosol sorry an aerosol dry shampoo it's like a powder that you squeeze out of the bottle I actually really like this and I feel like it worked better like the longer the more days you had it <laughs> so like with other dry shampoos, I feel like it's good for a day, but then I really have to wash my hair. But this feels like it keeps working. So I really liked it for that. I might repurchase this when... I don't know, if ever. I used to go to an Aveda salon, but not anymore. So I don't know when I'll get this, but I would repurchase it if I was given the opportunity. <laughs> I also have an Aveda, another Aveda product, the Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss. This has been in since the beginning and I have made progress I guess but it's still, there's still that much in here. So yeah, I probably should just use this all the time because it's not like I wear my hair down or do anything with it anyway. So it would probably be beneficial it would probably be beneficial to just put this in it all the time to like nourish it or whatever 
So yeah, I should just finish that up. And the same for my Briogeo Rosarco Milk. I love this product. I think I mentioned this in like my VIB recommendations. This is the Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And I love the smell of this. I love how it feels. I, I think I've loved every Briogeo product that I've tried, so. And this, I don't know, you can't really hear that, but I would say it's like down to here. So that is almost done. So that was it for this extremely long Project Pen finale. Oh, and I did say at the beginning, I wanted to mention what my plans are. So I will be doing the Deck of Panning. It's a project created by Emily and Max here on YouTube. Um, I love her channel. If you're into Project Pan or like um, just projects where you use up makeup that you have, I would highly suggest her channel. Um, yeah, so she created a project where you actually use a deck of cards to randomly choose makeup products that you're going to pan. And I really like that concept because this project was very much like a strategic pro project where I tried to think of what's the oldest product I have, what is like feasible to pan, what is something I use all the time that I'll probably pan anyway. But this deck of panning, I think it's gonna be more fun, like a game. So I'm really excited about it actually. I maybe will film that today, but I don't, I actually have to find a deck of cards. I don't know if I have one, but yeah, that'll be fun. So stay tuned if that sounds interesting to you. If you're doing that project, let me know, cause I think it's fun. I watch like a lot of those videos. Yeah, I think that's all I had to say. So that is my goal for 2022 is to continue to use the products I own already. Um, I haven't mentioned this, well obviously, because it's the first video <laughs> I'm filming in 2021, but I'm kind of on a no buy. I don't really want to say officially, because I might buy something that I feel is very exciting and I just have to have it, you know how I am. But I'm going to try to just use what I own. I have so many new products like that I've got for Christmas and stuff that I haven't even shared yet that I've got in BoxyCharm. So I will continue to be getting my BoxyCharm and Boxy Lux whenever those months come. But I think that's all the makeup I'll be bringing in. And aside from that, I just want to use what I have. We'll see how that goes. Um, maybe like the next VIB sale will be like, I might buy some things. I don't know. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. But yeah, I guess that's all for today. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!